we're gonna use our sculpture nail for today. Hola, hola, amor. Hi, Michelle. From where? Oh, good day, mate. So, cock the form up slightly because Yasmin's nails actually grow down, so we want to compensate for that by sculpting them slightly, like I would say like five degrees up. So that way when the nails grow up, they'll grow up straight instead of growing down like chicken feet. Yep, in the future. As soon as they um, close down Inno Couture Australia. And we're gonna miss Melanie because she has been such an incredible distributor and I'm so glad to be able to call her a friend. But you know, she's she's retiring and she's doing other things and I'm so happy for her too because it's well deserved. Here, here. Hi. West Virginia, I think, WV. Washington is WA. Sometimes when you're packing stuff, do you notice like weird addresses or like, you're like, I wonder where this is going to. Mm -hmm. Hi, thanks for joining us today. Hold your finger stiff for me. This one. Mm -hmm. doesn't want to cooperate, but I'm not going to let it stop me. Yes, we are. So this one we need to trim. Where are my good old West Virginia. Good old West Virginia. Thankfully, the West Virginia Senator is not as crazy as I thought he was. Where are my scissors? Oh, you guys, Gloria's back. That's why I can't find anything anymore. Everything! Why, Gloria? Why do you do this to me? I have to lose my nippers. No, it'll, um, the rates and all of that are calculated by weight and, uh, the destination of the parcel so i can't tell you how much it's going to be but the information that you'll see on the website is the information that we'll see as well too so shipping rates are determined by the courier not us animal rescue stripper harajuku barbie fantasy awesome well today's your lucky day hi thanks for joining us today Stick your elbow out a little bit. There you go. It'll be more comfortable for you. Not like this. Mm -hmm. She was so awkwardly positioned, she looked like a Cirque du Soleil. So you guys, you know how I love dating shows and everything like that? I was talking to everybody on Instagram is that I should start a podcast and people can call in and tell their dating stories. Like their crazy dating stories. Like dating somebody that you find out has Asperger's. And you're like, oh, that's nice. I think I'm gonna go now. 
I think my phone is ringing. Nobody's ringing. Yeah, it's ringing. You just can't hear it. I have to go. It's on vibrate. Or somebody that's like super possessive. Can you imagine? Why are you checking your phone? Don't do that. Ooh, here's a good one, Yasmin. What if somebody said, I love you on the first date and they started to cry? You'd be like, um, you would be like, you know what? A lesbian now. A <laughs> lesbian honest. That would be fun. That would be fun. Can you imagine? I already have a name for it. Hi, I'm a slut. But the good kind of slut. Because I don't believe in slut shaming. Where's the brush I used? Gloria, she moves everything. Here it is. We're going to use our Vegan Size 16. We're going to use our Eternal Beige Powder. Because you like to move everything? Gloria just came back from her, um, she took a, about a week off, or a little bit more. She uh, had her second great grandchild, isn't that crazy? Isn't the camera angle good too? Can people see? Oh, hold on one second. Karen said he sure did. Wow, but I mean, that's Karen though. She's probably got a killer body. And you know, buns of steel. I don't know what the kids call it nowadays. Can you cook, Karen? Maybe that's why you said I love you. How do we purchase from you when I go to Eno Couture and send me to uh, all the um, you can purchase directly from the U.S. after the Australian website closes down. Right now they're having their clearance sales because all stock must go because Melanie Cruz is retiring. Well deserved as well. So soon. Um, we're thinking about August 1st. Um, Karen says I'm Ken. Oh, see, that's why. You got buns of steel and you can cook. How could he not say I love you? Karen says I love that first Wow. Is that better? Live from Florida with Connor. He's gonna take Yasmin out on the date. I have to chaperone. He's taking you out. He's taking you out, Yasmin. That's why he's here. He's gonna take Rain out. He's gonna take Rain out. Godzilla. Glamzilla. Let's ask Connor. Connor, who do you want to take out? Me, Yasmin, or Raina? <laughs> you have to pick one. We don't believe in polyamory. Do you believe in polyamory, Yasmin? Yasmin's like, I don't have time for one crazy person, let alone 20. Jesus, find your cube. Wow, this is taking me back to like when everybody was like, oh, we're a little monster. I'm like, okay. Don't forget to like and share this video, you guys. Let's try to reach 100 so we can do a giveaway at the end. Pinchy, so we can pinch. Get that nail right and tight and skinny. It's like Kim Kardashian putting spanks on. Chomi, 
Huh? Is it Chani? What's the last name? Yeah, Chani Lane all the way from Chicago is here. Chani Lane. No, it's Chani. You know why Connor wants to take you out? He's gonna take you out because I have a date with Leonetta, aka Antonia Kubina Wilson. She's gonna make me, well, her mom's gonna make me clammy and weedy. Hi, thanks for joining me today. You guys like and share this video. Let's try to get to 100 views so that way we can do a giveaway at the end. Probably made here in America. So, Chani Lane. She said, I could not miss another She's like, I cannot. I need the fantasy in my life. She is a fantasy. Hi, Nicole. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you. See, when you pinch the nail, you guys, you gotta put your back into it. That's what gives you that shape. Kim Kardashian in space. How many kids does she have? Okay. Do you like her new boyfriend? I was reading this morning that they want to have kids. Like, it must be serious, huh? She's not 50, she's like 49. No, the last ones that she had, she had with the surrogate, huh? Yeah. Chicago. Her kid's name is Chicago? Wow. Chicago spelled with K? What do the kids look like? Her daughter's not cute, though, huh? I mean, it's Kanye West's daughter, what do you expect? So much tea, but I gotta talk to my attorney first. Hola, hola. I showed uh, Yasmin the tea. She's like, that thing is on fire. And I'm using our Pink Magic Fast Run monitor today, too. podcast about dating shows. My favorite dating show somebody asked is First Date Ireland. And I also like 90 Day Fiance. My favorite 90 Day Fiance was the last season that it had the, um, the heavy set girl with the Chinese guy and then the older lady, I think she was like from somewhere on the East Coast that was dating like a guy that was a rapper in Africa. His name was Soldier Boy. Soldier Boy. Uh-huh. He was a rapper I think in Nigeria. And then she would get mad that he would have like other girls in his video. She was like, why can't I be in the video? And he's like, oh, you know, we want models. And she was like, no, I don't think that's right. The rapper? Yeah, he was a rapper from Nigeria. Not the soldier boy, that soldier boy. Oh, that one. Not that one. Yes. I think he spelled it differently too. There's no gap right there, no little ledges. Do you guys like 90 Day Fiance? Let me know in the comments below. 
Oh, and then there was the um, the dwarf lady. Dwarf, can you say midget still? Is midget an okay word? Little person. Little people, big, big dreams, big LA. Well, this girl, she liked this one guy that was like really buff. He was from Phoenix too. And uh, like she was like really adamant about sleeping with him. He was like, no, and she got really pissed. Little person. Vertically challenged. Vertically limited. Oh, it's Diane. Do you remember that girl? She was, I think she was Russian, and then she went to Turkey to meet the guy, and she went with her friends. And her friends were like, "Did you sleep with him? Did you sleep with him?" And she was like, "No, he doesn't want to." And they're like, "Oh, he doesn't love you then." And the guy's like, oh, you know, let's you know, just take it easy. She's like, no. And he was like, I knew she was like, she had was special needs, but I didn't know she was that special needs. Like she kind of walked up a flight of stairs. And she had tiny little arms, very small limbs. Karen said, I'm 5'11. Wish I was a bit smaller. You're like a model, Karen. What are you talking about? No wonder your husband said I love you on the first day. He probably saw you and he was like, uh, trophy. You're an Amazon, that's what you are. She's Wonder Woman. She can cook, she's 5'11, buns of steel, what else do you need? Oh, wow, I need a watch. So good. Very fashionable. And then the heavy set girl from, I think she was like from Iowa or like Montana, somewhere really rural with like cowboys. And um, she would cheat on him and then she would, his name was Johnny. She was like, Johnny, I cheated on you, but it's your fault. Because you're in China and I'm here. And then he would cry and he was like, oh, I'm so sorry. And I was like, oh my God, he's feeding into her. Cheers. Oh, and then there was the bald guy and he was dating this girl in Colombia. And she was like, you smell like caca. I think his name was Mike, and he would send her money. He would pay her rent, and on top of that, send her money so she could get plastic surgery. And I was like, where do I sign up? Huh? Oh, sorry. No, it's better to move the camera than to move you, so that way I can look more comfortably. She wasn't even pretty either. But he was still with her. And she would tell him all the time, she's like, I don't love you. We're just friends. And then she's like, I'm gonna go out. And he was like, oh, okay, I'll get ready. And he was like, she was like, no, you I don't wanna go with you. And he would still get her money so she can go out. Well, this hem will look exactly the same, so stay tuned, love. Oh, you should check your tracking number, dear. That's right. Sounds like one of my tribe. Really? And in other languages, they actually use words that sound very similar to kaka. Like in Russian, they say kakashka. Do you know any Spanish words, Jasmine? Mm -hmm. Have you ever heard the word pavo? Pavo. Pavo. You've never heard? That's how you say turkey in Spanish. Oh, pavo. pavo. That's one word to say, turkey. Pavo, or the other one is guajolote. Can you say that word? No. Guajolote. Guajolote. Or the other word is um, in El Salvador, they call it turkey, they call it el chompipe. Yeah, right now there's no delay, so I would check your tracking number or reach out to the courier for more information. So let's turn the head upside down. We're going to bevel out that C curve. Yeah. 
Yeah, most orders go out same day right now, so. If you guys want to order right now, there's no shipping delays, actually. Operators are standing up. Tip it, and we're going to begin to shape and debulk the phalange fantasy. Towards me or towards you, the camera? Towards me? How's that? Is that too much? power tippet and I like to start filing from the stress point and then around the cuticle area to double it out. Jayla movie Monster-in-Law. Have you ever seen that movie? Where uh, Jane Fonda's uh, Jayla's uh, mother-in-law. Have you ever seen Mrs. Doubtfire? You've never seen Mrs. Doubtfire? Never. I have a hard time believing that. It's a movie. It's a movie from like 30 years ago. You're not living if you've never seen Mrs. Doubtfire. But you're not living. everything before I go in with the pink carrot just to do all my finish filing. Have you ever seen Mr. Doubtfire? She's never seen Mrs. Doubtfire, she claims. He dress, he's a cross-dresser. Yeah, because he's not allowed to see his kids anymore. My mom's like set up with him and doesn't want to see his kids. So he dresses up as a nanny so he can see his kids. Yeah, I heard about it. You've never seen it? Jennifer, today you work so hard. Thank you. It's so funny. 
there's this one part where he's dressed up like a Cuban lady and he's like oh I got my uh, something like a 25 year old boyfriend and uh, every night is like a, the, the uh, what is it every night is like the Bay of Pigs <laughs> I had to look up what the Bay of Pigs was and it was like a slaughtering of a whole bunch of Cuban men so he's a man killer <laughs> He did it to see his kids. Not for sexual uh, gratification. Ellison, how can you be on this planet and not see Mrs. That's what I said. Max, what piece should I order for Nelson? The Russian manicure drill bit set is incredible. It's the best one, hands down. This way, make sure everything is nice and even. That's right, thank you. You guys are we close to 100 views? How many are we at right now? 40. Oh, you guys, come on, let's make like, sure we still have time. With the what? Oh, yeah. It's really fun. And then he's hitting on this really young girl, and he's dressed up like an old lady. And she's like, let me buy you a drink. And she's like, no thanks. <laughs> and then when the CPS worker goes over to his house, he shows up just like like the old lady and then she's like I'm here to see whatever his name was and he's like you are? and she's like oh that's my brother <laughs> he's like going back and forth it's so funny so I'm using the pink carrot bit right now just to go in and further refine everything, make it nice and seamless. Seamlessness. Leave me alone for the fantasy. Emptying the smoothie buffer, just going in, removing all those scratches, high and low spots, getting a nice surface for the fantasy. Thank you. That shape looks so good. Thank you, love. Enochature.com you know, sculpted nail form. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. This mafia thing. Now we're getting ready for the fun part. Mm -hmm. My nippers now is when we can nip any dry non living tissue. Pull the skin. You remember it from her OnlyFans? <laughs> and yes, means nails always last pretty good, huh?
Marina and them take their nose off like after two days. Only potatoes. What about just for fans and just for potatoes? Beautiful. You can definitely try like to get a square nail and oval it out, the edges, and that'll give you something really nice and soft. So I'm gonna take the shiny gel and oval and that's gonna be our base because remember you guys, when you do sticker design work, you wanna make sure that the nail is not sticky. And this is just going to give us a really beautiful, soft, glittery effect so that the stickers can really um, pop in the design. Said, watching you doing, and doing my nails as well with all your products, you to go to PR. Ooh, Puerto Rico or, or Rhode Island? Provincetown? What's PR? I want to say, who doesn't love potatoes? Uh -huh. That shit is gorgeous. They're so, so crisp. Well done. Thank you. Another thing like a little email, couture.com or click for the fantasy. Puerto Rico. She's going to Puerto Rico. Ooh, I am jealous. Can I go too? Mm -hmm. I was telling everybody on Instagram that there's um, a lot of really great um, associations for people with hand, um, Down syndrome in Puerto Rico that I want to get involved with. There was this one um, Down syndrome couple, I think they were like 24, 25, and I thought it was just the cutest thing. Super short, stumping fingers, and almond definitely complements the others. That's what I did on Raina until she ripped her nails off. So I'm gonna remove any excess that might have ran. But just like that, they look so pretty and like cheap, don't they? Okay, we're gonna bake that. We're gonna bake that for one minute. Because, I don't know, why did she rip her nails off? Thank you. Mary said, I will need several things coming up soon. How are you doing this time? Okay. water. The best in the universe. Jennifer said, how many languages do you know? All of them. We use shiny gel and opal, and this video will be saved at the end too, so you can definitely rewatch it, you guys. What's for dinner, yummy? I speak all the languages at the same time, my love. Rudy's. No, Little Caesars. I had pizza yesterday. Was it good? Peter Piper? Really? No, I had um, a buffalo chicken pizza, but it was uh, frozen. Because I like to stock up when I go to Trader Joe's. And you guys know we have over 500 stickers at DinoCouture.com. Thank 
you. What's it do what? Oh, they're on the website, love. We have over 500 tickets to choose from. Pumpkin stuff? Oh You're not those girls that are like, oh my god, I can't wait till the Starbucks comes out with more uh, pumpkin flavored lattes. Is that right, you know? Really? No? The one that you said that tastes like perfume? That's my drink. That's my go to. I used to drink it before it was cool. The strawberry refresher with coconut milk. Yeah, the other one's not that great. And I've had refreshers in China that were really good too. The Starbucks in Japan, I don't think it's that good. People say, oh my god, it's so much better. Calm down, girl. Calm down with your weebness. Starbucks in Japan, is in, it all tastes the same. It's all like super sweet. And the portions are tiny. They look like kid cups. She is going through the caves. Boba? They have good Starbucks with boba now? She's like, let me get a boba, let me get a Starbucks, and make some magic. I think boba now is like too commercial. Like it's not cool anymore. Everybody and their mom drinks boba. When I went to the mall, there's like two boba shops now and you see all these like 13 year olds drinking boba. It's not cool anymore. Like pho, I feel like pho now. I feel like that's also one of those kinds of food that like it's trendy. Or sushi. She makes the mashi for the girls. And then I like those coffee creamers that um, taste like breakfast cereal, but the Snickers one. Bleh. Yeah, that one's okay. Right now I have the um, what is it called? Uh, Rice Krispie treats. Mm -hmm. Boba is traditionally in milk tea, not right like tea tea. Mm -hmm. First coat of gel top coat, we're gonna go in with shiny. And these stickers are 3D, but they're like literally like photo quality. They're so beautiful. So we're gonna do our first coat of gel top coat. Just a nice thin coat of shiny over everything. Because remember you guys, stickers always look best with two coats of gel. Uh, because it's thinner because the stickers are already in 3d and I don't want these notes to have too much um, thickness to them Because these are our 3d stickers the little dot ones that we're using today. Do you remember the name of them yummy or the number? I think the 400s though, huh? In the later 400s close to 500 She's gonna go to Bojangles tonight Oh, 
Can you go ahead and bake that for 30 Jangles. Guam. That's somewhere I really want to visit. Guam, so we can visit the Chamorro people. Bora Bora, what's there? Using gummy gel and my Lunar New Year vegan liner brush to position the diamonds for the Fantasia. This brush is so pretty too. Are we? Can you say, Mac, can you reapply the sugar fairy dust without mixing it into the filler? Come again. Can we apply the sugar, sugar fairy dust without mixing it into the filler? Yeah, you can definitely use it for sprinkling if, if that's what um, the question is. Yes. So the answer is yes, yes, you can. Just 
you like it? Very basic, you know, nothing too crazy, you know, just very conservative kind of nail today. Waka waka eh hey, hey. Time to play soccer. That's what she should have named the song. Why is that funny? It's true though, don't you think so? Some people like it textured, so you can definitely just leave it um, on top of like, maybe dom top because it's thicker, and then cure it really well. I would say for about 90 seconds just to ensure a full and proper cure. Honestly, I can't regret to have laughs. Well, I want to laugh. What was funny? Listen, she's the song. Well, isn't that what the song is about? Okay. Welcome, Sandy, and I hope you're feeling okay. Take some antivirals. I look too much I know how to play soccer. Because sometimes I show up to work and I look like I'm going to uh, play soccer, don't I? Yeah. Even our UPS driver was like, you're going to go play some soccer, Max? And I was like, no, I just like the look. I'm not very athletic. That's why I'm fat. Are you athletic, Yasmin? Did you play any sports in school? Was Reina a cheerleader? No. She wasn't captain of the cheerleading squad? Really? I just flipping girls over. Really? <laughs> I can see Reina flipping girls over. <laughs> Have you ever seen Bring It On? Yes. And then the girl I was like, I'm, I'll be right, I'll be okay, you guys, I'll be back tomorrow. <laughs> and she's all like, in the hospital. <laughs> oh, now we're gonna go in with the coat of wonder gel over everything. And then they do the other <laughs> carrot fingers. Oh, they should remake that movie. Nice, even coat of Wonder Gel over everything so that way nothing comes off while she's twerking. No, they're terrible, a lot of those. Is there a remake of Bring It On? I know there's like five different versions of them. And actually, some of them are not that bad. Oh, Solange? Whatever happened to Solange Knowles? And there was one, I think, with that girl from The Cheetah Girls, whatever, Adrian Balion. Oof, I can't stand her. She's just so, ugh. Leechy, he's a leech. Does she have kids already? She wasn't that so raven though, too. She's the principal of the t uh, school now, the high school where. Who was the high school? Have you seen the new episodes of That's a Raven? Raven's House? You don't like That's a Raven? Raven's House. But I heard Raven's not an easy person to go along with. For who? Scissors? Scissors? No. And kids know it is. She swears she is dead. She does. See, I'm not the only one. In her mind, she thinks she's Jalo, probably. It's gonna hang upside down with itself level up for about 30, no, about 30 seconds. 10 seconds or so. Adrian Balion is her name, aka a has been. For like a minute. See, that's how low she is. She does. She wakes up in the morning, she's like, Am I J Lo yet? <laughs> This is somebody who I think makes good music, but like she's so boring. 
She is. Have you ever seen her? Because she's boring. Let's go ahead and bake this for one minute inside the Barbie lamp. Carly Rae Jepsen. She's like when you go to a fancy restaurant and order chicken tenders. That's how boring she is. <laughs> Connor said that just that Khloe Kardashian is doing a surrogate with Tristan, even though he's having a baby with someone else. What is up with all these people having surrogate children? One's a cheater, always a cheater. It's like, what are they gonna do with all these kids too? They probably don't even raise them. They probably have nannies. Who? With who? Lamar? Who's that? Did she never had any kids with Lamar? He was too busy uh, doing drugs with hookers in Vegas. Did uh, what's her name, the ugly one, have ever kid, uh, any kids with Scott? Courtney? Yes. Yeah. Well, all kids are from oh really? But not this Scott, like the first Scott, the one that like was really mean. Yes, sir. Because they went to like England and he became a sir. He owns like a square of land in like in the middle of nowhere. A little bit longer left. Done. Mm -hmm. And now Kim wants to have kids with this, whoever her new man is named. Mm -hmm. Hey girl. Wow. He's very fertile. Talk about vasectomies are us. He needs a vasectomy. So we're gonna wait 10 seconds after the hand comes out of the lamp and then we're gonna apply our cotton candy cure for us. Like the most random person ever too. She's like, let me marry the drummer from Blink-182. Some of that was popular like when I was in middle school. He did? He's like, well, I can't get Kim, so next best thing. Wow. And his wife was really pretty too. Wasn't she like a Playboy model or something? Hearing with Shannon? Like they had a TV show about like their life with kids and things like that too. Their kids are really pretty. Really? Yeah. You know who has really good looking kids too? Pamela Anderson. Her two sons are really good looking. Did we reach 100? No. But I low key am obsessed with Pamela Anderson, so. Je ne sais pas pourquoi. And there we have the fantasy, you guys. What do you think? Do you love it? Do you want to put the other one in there too? Look how adorable they are! Let's do both of them together for the money shot. Well, my loves, that's going to wrap it up for today's little demo. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And what can I say? I love you guys so, so much. Stay safe, stay out of trouble. And don't forget to... Yeah. Don't forget to visit enocouture.com for the best American-made nail products in the universe. And we will see you guys tomorrow in the next live video. Bye, everybody.